I'm Filippo Crea, professor of cardiology at the Catholic University in Rome. FPEF means heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. This is an interesting syndrome because for many years we thought, okay, heart failure is when uh, there is uh, reduced ejection fraction or a severe valve disease. Uh, in the past few years, we have been learning that about 50% of patients with heart failure, they do not have reduced ejection fraction, which was supposed to be the hallmark of heart failure, uh, nor valve disease. In these patients, ejection fraction is normal, yet these patients have the same symptoms as patients with uh, heart failure and reduced ejection fraction. And what, what we have been learning is that the outcome of these patients is a bit better than that of patients with reduced ejection fraction, but definitely much worse than that of patients without heart failure. The mechanisms uh, are mainly related eventually to the fact that uh, the uh, amount of uh, uh, fibrosis in the heart increases. This makes the heart stiffer and this is the cause of symptoms and also the cause of the alterations we can pick up uh, with echocardiography. Echocardiography in these patients is characterized, can be characterized by LVH, left ventricular hypertrophy, or impaired diastolic function, or atrial enlargement. And the diagnosis of FPEF is based on these two uh, situations. First, symptoms and signs of heart failure, and then changes at echocardiography characterized again by LVH, dilated atrium, or impaired diastolic function. When these things come together, we have the diagnosis of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, where the main issue is a sort of stiff heart. Uh, well, definitely this is an unmet need because so far no treatment has been found to improve the outcome of patients with FPEF. And also we don't have really a validated treatment able to improve symptoms with, uh, uh, in patients with FPEF. Uh, of course, we have a wide array of drugs which can be used, uh, but uh, no treatment has been found to systematically improve symptoms. So the treatment, this is symptomatic treatment of these patients is very empirical. I mean, we have to go with the drugs which are likely to work. If they do not work, we go to other drugs. And eventually, in the vast majority of these patients, we get some improvement of symptoms. But when we come to the outcome, really many drugs have been uh, tested in order to improve the outcome of these patients. But uh, we don't have so far a successful story.